Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 50 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out two more aggregate functions, the sum function and the average function and uh, both the functions we've seen at least once uh, in the course before but again I'm going to talk about them just a little bit so that you know we are absolutely clear with what these functions are used for. So the sum function as the name suggests is used to sum values for a numeric field in a table, right? So I'll just demonstrate how it works. Uh, you know, you type in the select keyword first and then the name of the function sum. And let's say you want to find out the sum of, uh, you know, all the salaries in the employee table. So within parentheses, you type in the name of the field, which is salary. And then on the next line, you get in the from keyword and the name of the table, which is employee. And when we execute the query, we see that the sum of all salaries is uh, 307200, right? So that's the amount and uh, the next one that we're going to check out is the average function or the AVG function and uh, the AVG function is used to find the average of a bunch of uh, numeric values that are returned in a result set. So if you want to find out the average age of all employees in uh, your employee table then you type in AVG and then within parentheses you type in uh, the, the field name which is age and then the from keyword and then employee and when I execute this query, I see that the average age of all employees is 27.9412. So that's it for now. This was uh, going to be a short tutorial and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching it. And uh, aggregate functions are really very useful as you must have figured out by now. You know, you've, uh, we've discussed four, five in this course and you know, all of them are really nice. So uh, I hope you guys, uh, you know, have fun, uh, you know, checking out more applications of these functions as you, you know, further experiment with SQL. And uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to check out the truncate table command and uh, we'll see how it's different from delete. And uh, thank you so much for watching again and uh, you may subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.